What's up guys, what's going on? Camp Out coming at you with a review. This is a Complex Con pickup. I don't know if it's a Complex Con exclusive yet or what have you, but I keep hearing different rumors. I'm just showing you the box because I'm kind of zoomed in on the frame as of right now, but let's just get right into this bad boy. Uh, as usual, giant concepts box on the outside of a New Balance box. A whole bunch of uh, newspaper articles in here. Uh, Boston Embankment. Expanded with help of uh, 1 million aid. Just a whole bunch of news articles in here. Pretty sure it correlates to the shoe. Um, let's do this. <clears throat> Basic New Balance box on the inside. They used to take the New Balance box out and throw them away. I don't know <laughs> why they stopped doing that. They probably just got tired of throwing out a ton of boxes, so they make us do it now. But this was the shoe that I was most anticipating getting to Complex Con. Outside of all the extra stuff, um, this is a shoe that I want to wear. Um, not just built around hype, but just fire shoe. It took me a while to find a Kennedy, which will also be in this review, as well as a comparison of the original Kennedy and then the re-release. But let's do this one first. Pretty simplistic. Down and out. Uh, sorry for the shape of the shoe. It was in the box. I had to make its way back to the uh, New York area. <laughs> I did wear them already. I wore them uh, the night that I picked them up. I was super hype, so I took a little on fit on foot pick but getting into the details uh, amazing uh same as the other shoe just uh, the red hits are the difference in the two um I'll, I'll show that to you towards the end of the video but as to be expected the suede on this shoe is super buttery i don't know if you guys can see the brush going across there but you got like a camel and then a light brown towards the youth throat area and then the toe capping stretching around a mesh toe box probably gonna get super dirty but i'll worry about that later but that's easily cleaned if you guys were wondering just got to keep whatever you use to clean that mesh off of the suede just a heads up you got some nice little blue detailing stitching going towards the center portion of the youth throat across the front there and then leading down the back of the lateral side you got a nice slate gray uh everything is just really really buttery i'll just go back and forth super super soft to the touch 3m underlay on the new balance logo like a deeper gray suede on the overlay of the new balance logo gray stitch going throughout that continuing on the rest of the shoe you got a deeper gray stretching across the back towards the heel portion or achilles area above the heel cup in the red uh this is a new buck is what it feels like what it touches like and uh it doesn't feel like basically it's a short hair suede if you guys are unfamiliar i go through this like almost every time but i will continue to do it just for those who don't know um it's not like the the blue pair the blue pair feels like mesh uh i'll do another side by side once i pull the other pair out but you got nine 999 stitched into this on the uh, heel cup area stretching into it you got the upper area for the ankle another buttery hit of that sand color going across there and then you got that brown or light brown towards the achilles area with the blue stitching for new balance little heel window and the brown again the red stretches across the back and then you got it again everything is mirrored on both sides except for the 999 uh stretching up to the lace area and we'll do the tongue real quick the last grommet is blue laces that came in there are white and red with red agulets plastic concepts stamped on there on both agalit tips if you were wondering uh red mesh down the tongue area or red nylon actually it's like a nylon which is what the back of it feels like on the other shoe i'll show that to you and then you have this really really buttery soft new buck on the tongue area it's so soft like i don't even know what to compare it to but it's super super soft uh tongue tag on there also new balance made in the usa um i thought the sizing would be a little different because they were made in usa these are 10 and a half uh 999 usually runs a little bit more snug for me so i got a 10 and a half and an 11 on the way um the 10 and a half it's perfect though so you do have a little bit more room my 999 steel blues from who ronnie are a 10 and a half they're a little bit snug a little bit older also even my original kennedys are a size 10 they fit like a 10 and a half um but it's still a little snug on me but the 10 and a half on the new model fits very well you can go two two size on this or you can go the 0.5 up depending on how you like your fit you guys know i like a snugger fit because i don't like this to bubble on my toe box so i like to keep my toes a little close to the front and that's why i do that inside you got this nice little concepts flag you got a nice little concepts hang tag in that nylon again concepts stitched into both sides of that and then you got extra laces as well uh where the hell are they uh extra laces are a blue flat and a gray flat the gray flat has red agalets on the tip also with concepts on there as well and then the blue one is white with blue and concepts on the agalet 
also. I'm gonna move these out of the way real quick and then pop out the other shoe. Uh, another large concepts box, uh, <laughs> uh, CC96. Open this bad boy up. I, on the bottom of the box it says concepts was here. It's written by somebody. I don't know who or why, but same deal on the inside. You got just another New Balance box creating quite the mess in here right now. <laughs> uh, pop it right open. I have not tried these on yet, but I'm assuming it's the same fit as the other one. I'm gonna pull them both out. All right, so obviously Kennedy's. Um, there are a couple differences from the original pair. I don't think I need to go over this entire shoe again. Uh, basically everything that's red on the other one is blue on this one and inverted. So I believe the, let me just pull it out real quick. So let's go across the tongue real quick, across the youth throat on the red pair. Uh, the blue stitching is in there. On the blue pair of the Kennedys, you have the red stitching in there. The tongue is red on the uh, Kiana, Cyanas, and the Kennedys, it is blue. Um, same thing on the footbeds, red flag, blue flag, uh, heel portion where the stitching is, blue and then red, and red and then blue. Same thing on the heel. And that nylon I was talking, across, talking about across the back of the heel area, the heel cup portion, is the difference from the original to this one. I knew it was nylon somewhere, but I forgot which one it was. I'll show that to you momentarily after I finish the details finish this off you got white laces in there I haven't even laced them up yet I apologize for that I'll do uh, probably one in one for the on foot of these bad boys just to give you a heads up but white laces with blue going through it with the blue aglets the uh, inverted side or the other laces that are in here are basically the same as the other shoe but I'll show them to you as well uh, last grommet area instead of being blue is red on this bad boy um, yeah uh, pretty much all the same I'm gonna pull out the original Kennedy and show you the differences for those of you who are wondering if someone's trying to sell you an OG or they're just trying to sell you one of these pairs so let's get right back into this. So as you can see right off the bat, the toe shape is definitely different from the original 999 to this one. The shades are also different. So I'm gonna come a little closer. Hopefully you guys can see it as much as I can see it. But you can see this is more of a, uh, I guess a sail color going across this, the original Kennedy, which is on my right, as opposed to the remake or the remastered version of the Kennedy on my left. Uh, it's more of a sand color. Uh, the browns are almost identical. But as you can see, the older pair is a little bit lighter. You see a different shape on the youth throat stitching. One's a rectangle, one has like a uh, semicircle half moon to it. Uh, very different there. You can actually see the browns are different also. Maybe because this is newer, not really sure. Uh, and then also I'm gonna turn back to the sides. The midsole coloring is different as well. So you see a slate gray as opposed to more of a sail color. You'll see a deep steel as opposed to like a blue steel. Uh, everything is quite different as far as the coloring goes. It's just slightly off a little bit. You got the same hit with the 3M underlay on the uh, New Balance logo. Almost the same gray in that. Um, the only difference is the underlay of the logo has a different slate gray feel to it. So it has a deeper gray. This is more of a heather gray, I guess you can call it. The uh, ankle area is almost the same. You guys can see it. So the grays are almost identical in this area. So I guess the New Balance logos and these areas are almost identical. But the big difference here is the nylon on the original Kennedy, which is what I was trying to refer to earlier. Uh, it's more of a rip stop across here. And you can see the shape is different on the medial side as well, as far as where it cuts off and where it cuts in. So you got a half, maybe like a quarter of an inch difference as to where it stops and ends on both pairs. And obviously this is new buck, so that'll be the big telltale sign if you're really trying to figure it out. Um, same thing across the back. New Balance logo is slightly different on this one. So it has deeper ribs going into the N and the B, whereas the new pair, it's kind of shortened, if you know what I mean. You can definitely see the differential on the lines going through the original pair as opposed to this pair. Uh, heel window's a little bit different as well. Uh, coloring, as I mentioned before, outsole is almost the same, basically the same. Uh, aside from the coloring, one's a little dirtier than the other because I wear it. <laughs> and uh, I think that's pretty, yeah, basically the same exact outsole, which is kind of cool. But yeah, kind of clean, fire. Uh, definitely must have, oh, the other thing is the tag inside of the tongue. Sorry about the lighting real quick. So you can see the tag is wider on this one. The material is different. Uh, the cutoff and the shape of where the nylon or ripstop starts is different on the new pair. And the stitching around the entire tag is around the entire tag on the original pair and not on the new pair. So just another thing to look out for. Uh, size tags are both on the back and the same. Yeah, clean, fire. Uh, the footbed, let's see what's going on with that. Oh, okay. 
so it's just swapped so even the original pair has the red on the bottom red on the bottom and they match up so definitely look out for that i hope you guys enjoyed the review i will do an on foot i will do one blue one red just to get them both out of the way we're going to do two of them and uh yeah if you guys aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button if you have any questions comments hit me in the comment section and as always peace Thank you.